folks, Mac and McGee here. In today's video, you can already guess what it's gonna be. There's no secrets in YouTube. We have to put a title on it and we can't call it something that it ain't. Of course we're making sausage. But what we have here is the deer shoulders that Matthew shot on the last, well, it was the end of the season. He got this deer. Now, what we have here is a situation We've been butchering a lot of things, some for ourselves, some for other people, and we have had all these liver and lungs left over from these projects. And now that we'd realize exactly how nutritious they are and how good they taste all mixed up and all this other stuff, not necessarily that good by itself, in my opinion, we can't hardly throw it out. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna make a very nutritious, heavily, off balance towards the liver side sausage. We have plenty of mangalitsa fat. We've been butchering those. I've got some of it here that was smoked on that ham that you saw us cure. I really like to put this through frozen. Hear that? Hard as a rock. The reason I like to do that is for number one, I know it's not spoiling. Number two, sausage really does better when the things that go through there are frozen, you don't have much smearing. And number three, lungs are known to go bad rather quickly. And since they cut up easily frozen, I definitely like to do that. Now the liver, it's dangerous. You cut it frozen, it's very difficult. You can cut your finger, I can cut my finger. Uh, I have cut my fingers quite a lot. I used to have a guy named, uh, went by the name of Batman. And he had a great time making sport of me. I haven't seen him in a while. He, I know he changed his, his YouTube name. But hadn't seen him in a while and he hadn't been aggravating me. But there is one here. And you know who you are, Mr. Bob. You have taken up the mantle and you have performed very well. And I appreciate that. That makes me feel good. So here is our liver and lung. Here is our deer meat. I'm just gonna lay it all out together. And our fat. And the fat also is pretty much frozen. It's starting to thaw out here. We had a couple little things that slowed us down. But here we go. The reason I do it like this is so when I grind it through, I get a fairly consistent fat to meat ratio all through the grind. Now, all we lack is throwing on our seasonings. This is gonna be a 25 pound batch, no doubt. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put an entire bag of this stuff right here. This is Legs brand hot seasoning and it is blend number 109. So that's going to be our base, and from there we're going to go on with more things, including, but not limited to, sage. As you know, my wife likes sage in her sausages. So there we go. We're going to lay that all over. Before I get done with this video, I want to go over the nutrition facts of liver and lung. And also, you're going to want to know that the fat that is considered by some to be unhealthy, is quite healthy, being that it's mangalitsa. Now what I'm putting on right now is mustard powder. That is one of the things that recently came to my attention as being one of my favorite spices in sausage. I just really, really love it. We're gonna go on with some onion powder. And I'm just showing you this because the liver in these sausages is going to have a livery flavor and for that reason we're going to lay the spice to it there ain't nothing wrong with getting a little spicy this is spanish paprika we're going to lay that on it paprika by and large does not have a strong flavor so you can lay it to it doesn't hurt a thing what do we have here white pepper we're just gonna go ahead and lay some white pepper on it right down the middle. What else have we got here? 
We haven't done any garlic powder yet, and I don't see any of it. Coriander. We're going to lay the coriander to it. Oh, here's coriander in another pack that will, I can get it out faster. We probably don't really need much more salt because that sausage blend that I put on there probably had plenty of salt. Here's the garlic, oh, uh, David just helped me out on that. We're gonna slam the garlic powder to it. I think we're pretty good. All right, it's time to grind, baby grind. Here we go, I got Caleb, he's my official plunging dude. And the way we do it is we run it all together, spices, meat, fat, and all. And we make sausage. Get the other pot there, Caleb. We got the smaller grinder plate in, and now it's time to run this through again. And we're gonna have David do the honors of frying the patties for us to try on this video because Matthew's not here. Caleb, get your plunger out. Here we go. are just going to have to do without. That is a very tender feeling sausage. Oh, I think I like it better patty. Yeah, better pattied than, what's the other option? Tube and uh, tube. <laughs> Tubed. <laughs> In links. <laughs> Oh, I can eat that. Now, David said it created a very large amount of grease in the skillet for the uh, amount of patties. Only three patties made a lot of grease. That's a good thing. That makes it good. The reason why I say that makes it good, we raise these pigs that make this fat. Not only is it mangalitsa fat, which has got all them omegas in it, Omega-3 and all the fatty acid. It's also raised in the sun. So it's got a powerhouse of vitamin D in there. When you add that to this, the liver. Look at these nutrition facts on the liver. the different nutrition facts that's just it'll blow any other meat out of the water you cannot get this kind of nutrition in meat look at these lungs the nutrition facts on lungs
How can you get this kind of nutrition out of plain muscle meat? It's just not there. What we're eating right now could be considered the world's most nutritious meat on earth. It's unbelievable how good it is. Deer meat, venison, very, very healthy. I'm here to told you folks, it is some good eating. And a lot of people will not do it because they're afraid of liver. They don't like to taste of liver. And I've been clear throughout my channel, I don't like to taste of liver either. This really doesn't taste very livery at all. And I'm telling you, you talk about stretching your dollar. Right now, dollars don't stretch very far. And if you could do something like this to really stretch those dollars out, you're way ahead. And there's people that are dead broke that wouldn't do that. And I don't understand it. But I'm telling you what, it's amazing, amazing food, amazing meat. I've got four boys that eat like young hogs. And I'm telling you what, this right here will do it. This right here will feed a pile of boys for almost nothing. <laughs> I don't eat as much as you, boy. <laughs> oh, so we're going to get on out of here. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.